Good morning from Hamilton Island. It is day two and we're going to go to the marina and go on a cruise to check out the Great Barrier Reef. So come on with us. Oh look the fish, look! Oh cool! So that's not ours, it'll be the one afterwards. Morning. Morning. On to the boat. It's going to take about two Yeah, so it's estimated like you board at nine and then you arrive at 11. Yeah. We're at the back of the boat because so we've got the queen. Yeah, look at that. It's amazing. It really is. It's going to go down and get a GoPro. They cost $75 and you can hire them for the day. And she's also going to get some morning tea. Just starting to kind of spray rain a little bit. The glass bottom boat over there. Yeah. Or you might need a green one and then sting a suit over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Dopey <laughs> or something from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah. It's a sexy look going on there. Sting a suit style. This is awesome. They've got rice, meatballs, ham, cheese, cucumber, some kind of pasta, and a chicken curry there as well. So we have a little bit of that. And bread roll. And a cup of hot chocolate. So we've just been in the brick reef, haven't we Lydia? We have indeed. Thoughts? It was amazing. What an experience. So we just went down the stairs there, put our flippers on, then went out. To experience the reef. We can all reduce our impact by adopting reef friendly habits. By sailors of the coral reefs move into the void and multiply. Look at them! So it's a big way! Convert sunlight into food for the pulp. They also give it its ink. The bleached coral will die. Coral bleaching is happening more and more due to climate change. Coral bleaching is affecting beautiful places like the Great Barrier Reef. So these are the reef sleep boats. So if you decided you want to sleep on the reef, then they look like that. And they look over onto the reef. Pretty cool, hey?
didn't work well the whole time we were using it on video mode so here's a few photos of our time at the Great Barrier Reef. If you're enjoying this video give it a thumbs up, add a comment on the comments box below, thanks for watching, we've got some more Wits and Day videos coming up. But keep watching this video so you can see more of the Great Barrier Reef and how awesome Reef World is. Observatory as well, so that was underground as well. And we did a semi submarine. Yeah, that was cool too, because then they tell you what you're looking at as well, which is really cool to see. And we did some more snorkeling. Yeah, so we really maximized our time, didn't we? Yeah, I feel like we did. That was awesome. That was really, really cool. I can't believe we swam the Great Barrier Reef. That's amazing. The boat's just turning around now. Um, I'm actually going to show you the pontoon and show you some of the 
great barrier even as the tide came out you can actually see some of the great barrier it's actually on top of the water the pontoons and that's the great barrier you can see some of it above the water and then the light blue colour is also more Great Barrier Reef. So you can see the change in the colour there. And then that's another pontoon. So they have two pontoons. Let's go back across. You can see the reef sleepers. So up there where that lady is sitting, they're reef sleepers. So it's basically like camping above the Great Barrier Reef. Semi submarine that we went in, so um, underneath is where we sat. Does that your time out here at the Great Barrier Reef? We're going to go back to the reef system capture this morning, back out to the edge of the reef, and then we're going to have to make that ocean crossing. Obviously, folks, conditions are very, very poor today, so we're not too concerned about the emotions at this point. Uh, if you are concerned, folks, we'll see the boat in like and subscribe and check out day three of our adventures in the Whitsundays.